Now we're going to do the next problem right here. Just uploaded the first one to YouTube. Now we're going to go looking for the next problem. Okay. And let's see. Okay, write a class using nested for loops that displays the following arrangement of asterisks. You will receive no credit if you do not use nested uh, loops. Okay. Resizing that. And uh, I think in the exam it showed it to you guys as this. So basically like a, a, an inverted triangle, um, so you have uh, this line right here is five stars, this one is one space and then four stars, uh, the, the third one is two spaces and then three stars, and the fourth one is three spaces and then two stars, or counting from the bottom is the fourth one, and the fifth one counting from the bottom or first one counting from the top is four spaces and one star. <coughs> Whoa, that was my dog sneezing. Okay. <laughs> Buddy, are you okay? Alright, so let's get started here. We're going to... This class actually has to run. It actually has to show something. So, what do we know we need to do? It has to have a main method. It's a driver class. So, class stars. Okay. Let's make it public. Public. Alright, and then we have public static void main string er <coughs> string array arguments. And since this one's not gonna be that short, I'm gonna insert that uh closing brace right there. Alright, so we're gonna have four int i equals zero i less or let's let's just make it let's make it cool like this i equal one i less than or equal to five i plus plus <coughs> all right and then what's the inner loop gonna do four int i or j equals zero j why didn't why can't i do I in here because inside this loop I already have an I variable declared right outside the body of the loop I'm fine to make another I even though it's not it's poor coding practice because it makes things confusing and uh, it's not something you should do very frequently <sighs> all right I just had to get the little bone from my dog the deer antler okay it's not something you, you should do, uh, naming i multiple times in your method. You can name it in different classes and whatnot. But it's something you can do. You know, Once you get outside this for loop, you, there's definitely fair game to have uh, your another variable named i. And this is the closing brace of the outside for loop. And I'm going to get started right here already. This is the closing brace of the inside for loop, even though I haven't even finished writing it. So we start at j equals 0. J is less than um, uh, let's see what less than J is less than I and then J plus plus, okay. That's the way this is gonna work. And inside this for loop, what we're gonna do is repeatedly system uh, out uh, print a little star. Okay, so basically, you know, I is gonna start at one, and uh, J should start as one as well, at one as well. All right, so I starts at one. And then you create this J right here, which starts at 1 also. 
and uh, it gets tested right here. J is indeed less than or equal to I, which is 1 right now. So you print a little star, right? But we want to do something before that um, because we wanted to print four spaces before that thing. So this part prints our uh, um, stars, and this part is going to print our spaces. So um, 4 int k equals uh, 0 k less than i actually we're gonna do k 0 yeah case less than i K plus plus. By the way, the way you see this stuff in your s in your YouTube video is the way I see this stuff. The um, screen capping software really messes up with my rendering, and stuff uh, just doesn't render properly. So we know that this for loop is gonna imp uh, uh, print a little star when i is one, and then it's gonna print two little stars when I is two, three little stars when I is three, four little stars when I is four. So, what we should do here in fact, instead of starting k at five, we should start k at, uh, instead of starting at zero, we start it at four. And uh, we run this loop so long as k is greater than um, So as long as k is greater than i, hmm. So we want to we wanted to run it for first, and we wanted to decrement, decrement. Yeah, basically we just run it. So for as long as k is greater than or equal to zero. We start at 4, that's one iteration, 3 is another iteration, 2 is another iteration, 1 is another iteration, and 0 is another iteration. God, I must be really tired, and it's only 7 p.m. Okay, and what we're going to do in this case, system dot out dot print line, or not line, print, and a space. We print a space. So basically, you know, inside the outer for loop, is going line by line and the inner for and, and there are two inner for loops one of them takes care of printing the spaces one by one and the other one takes care of printing the stars one by one so let's let's have a look through our first run through of the loop when um i is equal to one this one is k starts at four uh actually you know what this should be i or five minus i five minus i Minus i, yeah. So k starts at 4, and so long as k is greater than or equal to 0, we're going to um, print a little space and then decrement k. So k starts at 4, we print a space. Then we decrement k, now k is 3. We print another space, we're at two spaces right now. Now we decrement k, uh, k is 2. Now we print another space, we're at three spaces right now, we decrement k, k is 1. And we print another space, so we're at four spaces right now, we decrement k. So k is 0, and we will print one other space in that case. So, for i, we need to make this greater than 4, 3, 2, 1. Yep, that's the way it is. Uh-huh. And um, then we go here. For int j equal to 1, j is less than i, j plus plus. So, you know, the first run through our loop, um, i is... 1, so j starts at 1, j is less than or equal to 1, and we print this little star. After printing all these spaces that are here, after printing all these spaces, we print a little star, and then the for loop, and then we j increment j by 1, so j is now 2, and j is no longer, um, what's it called, j is no longer less than or equal to i, because i is still 1. So what we're going to do is, when we test this and it's false, we just skip this body of the loop and we go here to we skip this inner loop so we go and execute whatever is here right but there's nothing there so this loop just terminates so uh, we reach the end of the outer loop 
which is right here and we go back to the top and now i is 2 so when i is 2 you know we start at k equals 5 minus 2 which is 3 and then we run this so long as k is greater than 0 so we print for th when k is 3 we print, print one space when k is 2 we print another space when k is 1 we print another space so that's three spaces and um, then right here in the bottom one i is equal to 2 so for j1 we print one star for j2 we print one other star so that's two stars three spaces and two stars and then we reach the end and then we go ahead and move back to the top so that should work uh, let me this is the end of my method this is the end of my class let me go to NetBeans I'm going to do control N for a new class I'm going to call it stars because that's what I called it in my thing I'm going to paste it here shift F6 to run it and it's taking forever let's move the thing to the output right here oh yeah forgot something simple um, probably dock you one point for something like this um, not much else so at the end of the loop what do we want to do you know we've been doing we've been using print 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 over and over what we gotta do now is system dot out dot print line like this it's one alternative and that'll work or we can do print and pass it the new line character and that's another alternative Boom. okay so that is it for problem number two and uh, I'll see you in a little while with pro problem number three.